Hi, this is Diana Cottle from dianacottle.com. I also am the administrator for a group called The Tapping Hub that I created on Facebook as a place for all tapping styles to come together and really be able to have a conversation that's open and honest and express their views and opinions and serve as a community of support, nurturing, and growth and contribution. And so there was a post this morning that I thought was really important to address because it was really wonderful. I love when people are able to be really open and honest, so I won't say who it was to protect their confidentiality. Um, it is a closed group. However, the comment was about having essentially feeling lonely and in their excitement about this one of the new tapping modalities that they've discovered. And then they were saying they're really looking forward to going to a training in it to feel understood. And what I wanted to really share about this is we do this all the time. We feel alone and we're really not alone. And so the idea is to learn how to feel okay in here because if you're going somewhere else to feel understood, you're going to take this lonely feeling that you hold inside and you're going to bring it with you to that group and you're going to wonder, why do I still feel alone here? So the idea, and this is the tricky part, because when you're finally able to use your tapping skills, to use other energy healing, to use thought flipping, whatever it is that you use to change this belief and to realize, I feel really good inside and I'm not lonely, all of a sudden you get now that you hold something other than loneliness, when you hold excitement and joy and happiness and thoughts that well, I like me and people like me. You know what? That's what exactly starts showing up in your life. And it's amazing how it's this Carl Rogers says, the curious paradox is when I accept myself just as I am, then I can change. And it's that principle that it starts in here. If you're looking outside to be happy when, you're going to always be looking to be happy when because you're always going to find other reasons that things aren't perfect or they're not the way you want them. So my advice to you is to really look at where are these lonely feelings and let them go and then really focus on the excitement so that we can change anything based on the way we perceive it and the meaning we give it. So use your skills um, and see what shows up differently in your life. All right, everybody, Diana Cottle from dianacottle.com. And if you like this video, go ahead, like it, share it, and post your comments below.